Hello, Jaime. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm doing good. A, a little bit with rain, uh, a little bit of noise. And in your house, it's raining. Yes, in, 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 in the city I live in Cotepeque, mm -hmm. it's raining now. Ah, imagine. I, I live in Santa Tecla and it's raining now. Ah, it's okay. It's a little uh, far from Cotepeque, but it's, imagine the storm is very big. Yes, uh, around uh, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. The rain is, is, is strong. Yeah, but it's now, strong. But now uh, it's raining a little. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. That, that's good. Okay. Yes. And what time did it begin raining, Jaime? What time? Uh, it's uh, 9. 1 p.m. o'clock. Uh, at one o'clock, it started to rain. Oh, 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 sorry, the, the rain? Yes, uh, the rain. Around 8 p.m. o'clock. Around 8 p.m. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Actually, it's, it's raining a little. Okay. So it's like one hour, one hour raining a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. Oh. All right, and Noah? Uh, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, uh, everybody. Good evening, Noah. Uh, good it, evening, Noah. It's raining in this moment, in this uh, in this place, in Lourdes, Colón. Ah, okay. Hey, yes. Noah, do you like to play video games? Yeah, yes, teacher. Do you like to play video games? Fortnite or Call of Duty or no? No, teacher, no. It's because the headphone, the headphone is for like video gamers. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. They say only, I use only the this class in English because uh, my camera uh, include, como digo, include, uh, includes, includes, uh, includes phone. Uh, no sound very good. Ah, okay. Uh, because I use uh, uh, audio phones. Ah, uh, I because it looked like for the gamer, and I think, hey, uh, no, I like to play in playing no, the video games. <laughs> no, it's just no. no. Okay. Uh, 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 I listen. I listen best in the class of English uh, with uh, use. Uh, uh -huh. The headphones. The headphones. Yeah, the headphones. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. That's good. That's important because the headphones, if you hear clearly, because right now, for example, Jaime and me, we listen to the rain, we hear the noise, we hear the. And you, perfect. No problem. Yes. Okay. It's clear. I listen is clear. All the class. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you everyone for connecting. Today we're going to go ahead and continue with our unit one. And in unit one, yesterday we were looking at some vocabulary. Today we're going to be looking at the models and how to make requests. Today we're going to be looking at models and specifically how to make requests with these models. And Jaime Reyes. Can you please read the objective for today? Good evening, teacher. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. It's raining, it's raining now for here. Okay. No, it's okay, Jaime. Mm -hmm. Okay. But participants will practice making requests using models can cool, goal, and will you mind? Okay. Plus, gerunds. Correct. Now, Jaime, remember, I help me remember what what are gerunds? Do you remember what are gerunds? Yeah. This ending in ing. Excellent. 
is the ending with ing. So this is what we're going to learn, how to make requests or how to ask for things using the correct form or the polite form. It's very easy. In the objective, can, informal. Could, more formal. Would, more, and would you mind, very formal. This would you mind is very formal. For example, my friend, hey, my friend Noe, my friend Jaime, ah, okay, can. Maybe in the office, maybe with work, could or would, but people I don't know or people in the professional area, would you mind? It's okay? Yes, teacher. Uh, is this more um, used in for more uh, family, uh, family? Como digo? Familiar. No, sí, pero es uh, friendly. Friendly, correct. Friendly. Can, is much more friendly. Correct. Can okay. is very friendly, could mm, semi professional, and would very formal, the formal way. Mm -hmm. With the would you mind. Good. Now let's listen and watch the videos how to use them. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Okay. Here, if you see, the three can, could, and would, no ing. Can, could, and would, the verb normal. Turn, close, take, put, play. This is the normal. But in the very formal way, would you mind is obligation ing. Obligation ing. Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now, let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay. So what is the important information for like request? How the most important information is that you go the most polite is the idea with using can uh, sorry could or using may when you have, for example, here friendly. Here, more formal, more formal, and then would you mind the very formal way? Always the structure is the same, but the please is not obligation. It's normal, but it's not obligation to use in the sentence, okay? That's why they say it may be omitted. Omitted means it may be extra, it's 
may be eliminated. That is the idea for please. Okay. And always, if we use mind, we are going to use the gerund, the ing. In this moment, we're going to practice a little bit about making requests. Okay. As an example, with my partner, imagine my partner is Tatiana. And I say, Tatiana, okay, I make different requests. Tatiana, can I use your cell phone? Hmm. But maybe for Tatiana, is not my friend. So can is not a good option. Maybe it's better, Tatiana, uh, could I please use your cell phone? This is better for a little bit more formal. Okay. Now, how do you say prestar? How do you say prestar in English? Borrow. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, so what is the difference between lend and borrow? We have two words. What is the difference with lend and borrow? Lend as, as, as speaking the money. Okay, good. So lend is I give to the other person. Yes. Uh-huh. Borrow mm -hmm. is the other mm -hmm. person gives to me. Okay. So for example, eh, when you go to Banco Agricola, eh, you go to Cuscatlan Bank, do you borrow money or do you lend money? Less money. You give the money to the bank or the bank gives you money? The borrow. bank gives me money, oh. borrow. Correct. So Banco Agricola or Cusca Clan Bank, they, they lend me money because it's their money. I, I borrow money because I ask for the money. In Spanish, it's only one word, but in English, it's two words for the action, give or receive. This is the difference. So now we're going to practice different requests with our partners, okay? And we're going to practice the different answers. Here we have in our exercise 1.9, we have six different questions and you need to make the six different answers. Here, 1.9 with our partners, we're going to look, read, and select what is the correct question and the correct answer to accept or decline the request. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, clear. Remember, Mari, you okay? Mari? Hello, Maria.
Okay. Hey, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, so I like it. I like it. All right. Let's take a look. Let's try together. Number one, who is going to read and answer? Who is number one? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Yes. Uh, yes. It's yes. Right. yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, Carla, good, good. All right. Number two, who's number two? I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. But I'm busy. busy. Ah, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Yes, busy. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, what about number three? Number three. Sure, sure no problem. problem. I would like to. I would like to. All right. Good. Number four. Sorry. 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 I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, great. Okay, number five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, nice, nice. And number six. We are so I like everybody at together, huh? Together, that class. Excellent. Let's take a look. All of the answers. Correct. Correct. Imagine. Ah, super, super easy. Okay. So in this moment, now we're going to do a drama. Now is dramatization. So, for example, Jaime and me, or No and me, or Tatiana, or Maria, or Priscilla, we create the situation. Maybe at work, maybe in the supermarket, maybe in the bank. Oh, maybe in Mr. Donuts. Ah, excuse me. As an example with my partner. Excuse me. Uh, can I? Uh, would you mind? buying me a donut i don't have a dollar and my partner oh yes no i'm sorry i can't are you crazy you buy your whatever but you and your partner the situation and the drama you prepare five minutes prepare and present to the class five minutes prepare and present to the class okay okay, yes. okay only five minutes only five minutes Okay.
Okay. Ooh Who is the first volunteer? Who is the first drama? Hmm, ahí nadie me quiere ver, va todos al viendo el papel. Ajá, ajá, there you go. Excellent. Noe, excellent, Noe. All right, Noe and Carla, good volunteers. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, number, number one, uh, could you lend me your cell phone, please, Carla? Oh, yes, of course. I borrow my cell phone. No, no. No, I borrow is the other word. The other word is I lend. I lend. Uh huh. Remember, no oh, it, okay. no it. Can I borrow, Carla? You lend. Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Could you okay. borrow okay. your cell phone, Carla, please? Oh yes, of course. No, I, I will lend my cell phone. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, the another one is um, Noe. Would you mind buying a sandwich? Of course. Uh, this moment I prepare this. Uh, um, in this moment, prepare your sandwich. Okay, oh. thank you, Noe. Okay, you, uh, you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Very good, Carla. Very good, Noe. Good. Correct. Would you mind with ing? This is very good. Exactly. Now, the next, who's next? Who's next? Hey, Maria and Jaime. Thank you, the volunteer. Excellent. Okay. Perfect volunteer. Hello, Jaime. Oh, Maria. Are you there, Jeff? Okay. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Can you do me a favor, Jaime? Oh, yes. What pleasure, Maria? What do you need? Oh, I need you lend me money because my mom is sick. Sure. How, how much do you need? I need one hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Is is a pleasure, Maria. Do you help? Thank you, Jaime. You're welcome. Only that, teacher. Very good, Maria. Very good, Jaime. Remember to try to use the vocabulary, the vocabulary for questions. Can I? May I, could you, would you mind? Okay, the drama, excellent, very good drama, but include the vocabulary in the drama, okay? Okay, teach. Excellent, excellent, all right. Who's next, who's next? Oh, Jose and Tatiana, wonderful, wonderful volunteer, okay. Okay, um... Hi, Tatiana. Hi, how are you, Jose? Um, I'm really worried. I need to buy some water and use my money. Really? How can I help you? Uh, could you borrow me two dollars, please? Oh, Jose, I'm sorry. I don't have any cash. Uh, really? Yes, I'm sorry. Good, thanks. All right. Very good. But very good, Jose. Remember, not correct. Can you borrow me? Correct. Can I? Can I borrow? Or correct. Can you lend? Okay. The correct is, Tatiana, can you lend me $2? Tatiana, can I borrow two dollars? Okay. okay. Excellent. All right. Very good. The rest is very good. Hey, and the last one, we have Walter and Jaime. Okay. Okay, teacher. 
Walter. Hello. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, Maybe. Tell me. Could you turn the TV down, please? Oh, yes, right now. Okay, uh, because it's very noise. Oh. Okay, and you, Jaime. Yes. Can you, can you, can you do my homework, please? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm busting now. I am, I am uh, receiving the capacitation, <laughs> the model two English. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, Walter, I see you. See you, Jaime. Excellent, very good, very creative. Only two vocabulary, the pronunciation. Only two vocabulary, the pronunciation. Busy, busy, and no capacitation. The word is training, training. So I am receiving the training right now. Busy and training. Good job, Walter. Good job, Jaime. Very creative. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Before we continue, any questions? Anything not clear? No? All right, great job, everyone. Let's continue and practicing more for our knowledge. All right, the next one here, we have another objective. Maria, can you please read the objective? In this class, you will develop skill in investing meaning from context and ready for a specific information. Thank you very much, Maria. So what are we going to do in this activity? With the partner, you have to read. And here, you have to look for this vocabulary in the reading. This vocabulary in the reading, this one, this one, this, all of this vocabulary, you have to find in the reading and you need to look for the meaning. What do you understand is the definition of resentment. What do you understand is the definition of deliberately. So in this moment, with your partners, read, identify the vocabulary, and identify the meaning. Three, read, check the vocabulary, and select the definition or the meaning of the vocabulary. Okay. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's go.
Okay. We are ready. Excellent. Let's take a look. Number one, what is resentment? Anger that grows over, grow over time. Well, good. Number two, what is deliberately? On purpose. On purpose. On purpose. Good. On purpose. Everybody repeat on purpose. On purpose. 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 Um, purpose. Purpose. Correct. Purpose. Mm -hmm. purpose. Okay. Number three. Bother or, or, or annoy. Bother or annoy. Annoy. Uh, good. Everybody repeat. Bother or Bother. annoy. Bother. Bother. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Not about the next one. Irritate. Sorry. Yeah, measure. What is measure? I think taking, taking, taking order to achieve something. To achieve something. Good. Good. Number five. Manner. A way, A way of, of behaving. Way of behaving. <laughs> okay. Number six. Resolve. And the problem, and problem, and the problem of difficulty. Okay. Good, very nice. Let's take a look. We have, ah, the answer is correct. <gasps> amazing, 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 amazing. All right. Vamos a pasar, Vamos a pasar. Excellent, 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 yes. Okay, now, everybody repeat, resentment. Resentment. Okay, remember, the final sound, the t, -t resentment. 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 Good. Deliberately. 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 One more time. Deliberately. 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 Okay. Irritate. 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 Measure. 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 Me. Measure. 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 Good. Measure. Good. Measure. Manner. 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 Resolve. 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 Excellent. All right. Now let's take a moment and read this. Let's read together. We are going to read many parts. Okay. Who would like to begin reading? Me, teacher. Please begin. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. The family across the street never cleans up the yard. The garbage plows into your yard. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Thank you, Tatiana. Very good. All right. Who is going to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you, Hyman. Have things like this ever happened to you? To you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? Thank you. Thank you, Hyman. Who is next? Who's the next paragraph? These days, many people don't know their, their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly web or, or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbor's name. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they do do it deliberately good walter good all right who's the next paragraph hey, teacher believe it or not your neighbors okay believe it it or not your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate your 
irritate you often they don't even know that they getting on your nervous so before take extreme measures to fix the problem you should discuss it with them first great who's next me okay go ahead now when you approach your neighbor, you should talk to, the, uh, to them in a friendly manner. Compliments their children or do something else to make them feel good. The explain the situation and uh, if you can do a simple solution, solution should be it. Okay, good, excellent. And the last, oh, not the last, we have two more, two more. Okay, um, if talking doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Thank you very much. And the last one. Finally, something is good there to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it might be best to use the state of your neighbor's way. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for reading. Are there any words that are not clear? Any words or parts that you don't understand? Um, No, it's okay. All the vocabulary. Mm. Uh, our question, teacher. Yes, no. Uh, number uh, paragraph number uh, one of uh -huh. first. The okay. woman in the apartment stairs. Uh, stairs escalera, pero mm. en este en esta ocasión es apartment. The, What is the upstairs? upstairs is uh, the, the next level. The level. Uh, it may be the second, the third, but the level above you. This is upstairs. Entonces, uh, then, um, um, sería segunda arriba. planta. Yes, or remember. O nivel de arriba. Yeah, wow. exactly. Because in the apartments, have mm -hmm. 10, 10 okay. floors, seven floors, depends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. The others are okay? Close. Uh, what teacher? Annoy. 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 Ah. It, what, anybody have an idea? What is annoy? Ridoso, teacher. No, here. No. Is no. In this paragraph, not, not noise. Not noise. Annoy. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, see, see, yes. Uh -huh. No? Molestar? Correct, no. Correct. Mm -hmm. This okay. is annoy. Molestarme, annoy me. Correct. To bother you. Any other vocabulary or any other questions? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning issue, issue? Issue. Issue. Issue is problem. Problem. Uh, there is a problem, there is an issue. Problem or issue. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Now I want you to tell me, what do you do with your neighbors? Do you have good relationships, bad relationships? What happens with the relationship with your neighbor? Good relationship, teacher. <laughs> good. Yes. Um, um, friendly, my uh, neighbor in the in the my uh, face and um, and live. And the neighbor is is nice. Is friendly. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Well, tell me, tell me, why, why nice? What, what does the neighbor do? Uh, it's, what, it's, it's nice because um, we uh, uh, have a good conversation um, and eating uh, invitation, uh, uh, they coffee in the Saturday in the, uh, in the afternoon with uh, two, three neighbors. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, with three neighbors, you you talk, you laugh? No, it's, it, it's the more near my home. Okay. Nice, very good. It's good to have a good relationship with your neighbors. Excellent. Okay. And the other people, how is the relationship with your neighbor? Uh, in my case, it's very nice. Okay. Nice. Um, so many times we're talking, talking about um, sports, sport topic or all the work. We talking about the work. Okay, and you and your neighbor have the same work, Jose, or different jobs? Uh, different, different jobs. Okay, but yes. it's, it's good with the neighbor to complain, right? I know that my boss, my the problem, the clients, the customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And you, Tatiana. Uh, in my case, I don't talk with my neighbors. Yeah, I, I, I think, think mm. that Why, they Tatiana? are really noisy. <laughs> <laughs> and, why noisy, Tatiana? They have a lot of parties. They speak very yes. loud. or they speak speak. Very loud. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. I have some neighbors that they they always always they are ah, da, 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 da. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't like. It's difficult. It's difficult with yeah. these neighbors. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming today and uh, reading and preparing. As you see, we finished unit one. We finished unit one today. Tomorrow, we're going to begin unit two. So remember in the platform, the same the class, finish unit one, finish unit one in the platform, minimum 80. That way you pass with no problems. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Night. Nice. Good night. Good night.